Hey, what's going on? I'm Apprentice and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products in their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we have a water battle happening and it is smart water versus core hydration. We are gonna test these waters and see which one's the best and we're looking for three specific things, all right? Now, if you have not seen any of these videos before that I've done, you wanna make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get more tips tricks and tactics to improve your overall wellness. So what are we gonna test these for? We're gonna test them for three things, right? So the first one is antioxidants, the second one is alkalinity, and third is superior hydration. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these waters poured. And we have smart water. I don't know if this one's the champion or the challenger in this one, you guys let me know. But anytime when you talk about waters and people are just like, oh, is that the best one? Smart water is one that always comes up. Not sure if it's actually the best, but it is one that definitely comes up. And core hydration is one that a lot of people have been drinking lately. It's fairly new, hasn't been around as long as smart water, but a lot of people refer to this as a better tasting, more healthy water. So we're gonna put these two to the test and see which one is better. And bam, all right. So the first thing we're testing for is antioxidants. And you're probably thinking, why antioxidants, right? And the reason why is because we want our water to actually do what antioxidants do, all right? And that is they reduce oxidation, reduce inflammation, and they're essentially the fountain of youth, okay? They keep us looking young and they allow us to push out toxins and stay looking young and youthful, all right? In the meantime, if we're drinking something or consuming things that are oxidizing us, and it's happening all the time, right? Regardless of if you know it or not, because the air that we breathe is oxidizing. The electronics that we use, our cell phones, our TVs, radios, all that stuff is oxidizing. Even a lot of the foods that we eat, if we eat fried chicken and stuff like that, is oxidizing. Those things come in, they create rust and inflammation and oxidation in the body, right? So just Picture an old moldy banana that's been sitting out too long, or when you bite into an apple and you let it sit on the counter, it starts to turn brown. That's oxidation happening in real time. That oxidation and inflammation is linked to every single health disease known to man, and so we want to reduce that as much as possible. So we are gonna test this using an ORP meter, and this stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential. And if we see a positive number, that means it's oxidizing us. It's creating rust, inflammation in the body, and ultimately leading to sickness. However, if we see a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, it's essentially a fountain of youth and it's gonna keep us looking young. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, so we're gonna go with smart water first to see what we get. So look at that. Smart water is showing up at 2, 199, 200. It's going down a little bit. 200, all right. So that's where our smart water is sitting, which means it is oxidizing us. It is making us sicker. So let's take a look at core hydration water and see where that one is sitting. Oh gosh. <laughs> This one is sitting, what, at a 239, 240 is about to hit? Yep, 240. So this one is much more oxidizing than Smart Water this time around. And why do I say this time around? It's because, let me actually take a look at these for a second. This bottle of Smart Water was produced June 24th, 2020. You can see it on the bottle, right? And this was made when, can I see it? Is it on here? Yep, it's along the side. Actually, I don't see when it's, I see when it's expired, which is July, 2022, but it's really tough to see the manufacture date on this one. They haven't covered it with the plastic, but depending on when it's made, is the longer it sits in that water, and water is a scavenger. Okay, so it's gonna start eating away at the plastic, which is not good because it leads to a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. 75% of men and women who have breast cancer have too much xenoestrogen in their body. So this is higher, but um, 
Yeah, that's because it may have been sitting in the plastic logger. It could have easily been switch swapped around, but for this, smart water is the winner. But they're both oxidizing. So is there a water that shows up negative? And there is, and I have it right here. And this is electric water, right? <laughs> this is pretty amazing water. And the reason why is because it's made with electricity, right? It's not chemically altered, which we'll talk about in a little bit. It is made with just using electricity. We don't add anything chemically to it. We just electrocute it. So when I use the ORP meter here, look at that number. You see it? All right, so it's showing a negative 785. That's a negative, you see that dash? That means this thing is full of antioxidants, full of anti-inflammatory, anti-oxidizing properties. That's gonna give you what you need, all right? So that's the first test, and that is antioxidants. All right, on for that second test, which is all about alkalinity. Now we want to keep our body in an alkaline state as much as possible. Slightly alkaline, we don't wanna to go too high. Um, but specifically, we want to, we're talking about our blood. Our blood must maintain a 7.365. It can fluctuate just a little bit, but we don't want to go too far, right? Now, depending on what we're consuming, if we're consuming things that are alkaline, we're gonna use the broccolis, the kales, all that stuff that's highly alkaline to try to use the minerals and nutrients in there to balance and keep our blood at that balance, right? However, if we're doing acidic foods, if we're doing Popeyes all the time, right? Or we're doing fried chickens and fast food, stuff like that. If we're smoking, if we're doing tons of alcohol, that's building acidity in the body. And that acidity eats the minerals that's in your body and it eats the electrolytes. So if our blood doesn't have the nutrients that it needs, our body is smart. It's gonna make that nutrients happen. It's gonna start taking it from you, okay? So start taking it from your skin. This is why your skin may be peeling, cracking, and bleeding, okay? It's gonna start taking it from your bones, your joints, your ligaments. It's gonna make it tougher, especially as we get older, to get up and play football, play basketball, do MMA, right? And if we continue to let that happen, it's gonna start taking it from our brain. And this is how Alzheimer's happens. And we start losing memory and not remembering things. And that's not good. So, we want to consume things that are alkaline. Now, how are we gonna test it? We're gonna use these pH drops. pH stands for potential hydrogen, right? And so we're gonna see how much hydrogen or the potential of it is in there. So if we see a red or orange or a yellow, that means this is acidic and it's actually eating the minerals and electrolytes that your body needs. However, if we see a purple, a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means it is alkaline. So let's see what we're getting here. All right, so right now it looks like smart water is acidic, slightly, just slightly acidic, which is at a five, but it is creating that, that drama that we don't want, right? And this core hydration is looking like it is an eight, like it's alkaline. So anytime when this happens, I want to test it out. I want to actually see if it's going to handle acidity well, and this actually being true, okay? So I'm going to use the acidity of my stink breath <laughs> to battle it back and see if it will actually battle back and actually stay the same color or if it's actually going to burn off whatever is in it to show its true colors. And look at that. Just as I thought, so Core hydration, they add this really purified water when I'm looking at the back of this, and purified water, they take everything out and then they add in things chemically. They add in things chemically to make it appear and look good, but it's actually not. Your body's gonna take this stuff in, it's not gonna know what to do with it, and it's gonna end up leading to additional health problems that you simply don't want. Now, the electric water that I have here Let's see what happens when I put a few drops in this. All right, so as you see, it shows a royal purple. It's beautiful, it's fantastic. That's like around a 9.5. And once again, I told you, if something happens, I want to test it out and see if it can handle battling that acidity and what actually happens. So let me try this water and see what happens. The 
it's not changing. Why isn't it changing? Because this is electric water. So all we did, we didn't add anything. We didn't sprinkle in salts or baking sodas or things like that. We simply took the water, shocked it, and that's what is showing up. And we broke off little pieces of hydrogen. So there's actual hydrogen in this water, all right? So very different stuff. If you're curious and you are serious about your health and wanna drink the best water, please get with me and I'll share all that information after our last test, which is on superior hydration. All right, on for that third and final test, which is superior hydration. This one's one of my favorite ones simply because, oh, oh everybody experiences this one. The other ones you don't really see that often, right? But this one, everybody experiences. So just picture for me, drinking like one of these waters, just filling your body up all the way, right? What ends up happening? It just sits in our stomach, right? Why doesn't it get absorbed into your cells? All right, why do we end up just keeping it in our stomach until we go to the bathroom? We shouldn't be doing that. Our water should actually be getting into our cells and hydrating us immediately, okay? And so today's example, I'm going to use a tea bag, all right? And this could be our brain, this could be our body, not on drugs, but dehydrated, okay? And so uh, what I'm gonna do is add some smart water in this and see if we can make tea. So, do this. And it doesn't make tea. You're probably thinking, well, Prentice, you're crazy. Of course, that's not how you make tea. Well, how do we make tea? We make tea by taking water and we boil it, right? <laughs> you're probably you're like, yeah, that's how we do it. Why do we have to boil the water, though? We boil it because it makes the water molecules so small that ends up being able to pass through the tea bag and making tea, right? And so our water molecules should be that small as well. The water that we're drinking, it should be that that small, okay? Because our cells are that much are so much smaller than this tea bag. And if the water can't pass through the tea bag and it's starting to do it a little bit now, then there's no way it's going to go through our cell walls and actually hydrate us. So we got a little bit of tea here, but that's uh, I mean barely, right? That's like maybe. That's a lot of light color, right? So that's maybe 10% hydration. Let's go ahead and check out Core and see how it does. All right, so Core is sitting in the same boat, right? Like it should happen immediately. Like I had to bounce the bag up and down in order for the water to actually take in the nutrients. So I'm actually dumping it out of the bag. Like why am I having to do that? Right? I shouldn't have to do this. But you know what? I'm trying to give them a chance. The bag is wet. Both waters have had their chance. So let's see what happens with no with no anything, right? <laughs> let's see what happens. So right now I'd say they're both even. Wouldn't you agree? Say they're both even. Let me know in the comments. Alright, here's smart water with no no bounce. No bounce, nothing crazy. And then here's core hydration, no bounce. So which one's better? I know I'm adding some bounce there, right? But which one's better? Take a look. Neither of them are better. Well, you shouldn't have to jump up and down. I'm putting this over here. You shouldn't have to jump up and down in order to Hydrate yourself. Like you shouldn't have to get on a trampoline, you shouldn't have to get a pogo stick, nothing like that. Alright? So, what if though? What if you had that electric water I was talking about? Alright? Let me put these to the side. Let's see what happens when we use this electric water. Look at that. B A beautiful. This is the color your tea should be. Right, there's no bouncing, nothing like that. And I was actually able to make like a strong tea, like strongly be able to hydrate you. So just think about that. If you're still feeling tired and you're still feeling thirsty, then you're probably not drinking the best water, right? If you are taking supplements because you're working out, you're trying to get them gains, right? 
you want to be able to take water that's going to actually allow your supplements to get through and actually hydrate you. Look at this. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Just think about that. If you were drinking the right water, how much better off you would be, okay? So either way, we tested these waters. We tested smart water and core hydration for three things. First one was antioxidants and smart water was better than core hydration this time around, but they're both oxidizing, right? So which means they're creating rust, inflammation, and just creating more sickness in your body, right? Second thing we tested for was alkalinity. And we saw that core hydration looked good until we actually put it to the test. And then it actually ended up being the same as smart water, right? And then last but not least, we checked for superior hydration and we found out what? That neither one of them hydrate us, that they're both the same. So ultimately, I would say it's a tie. I think it's a tie. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you are curious about this electric water and you are serious about drinking the best water for your health, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach out to me here on the YouTube channel, right? You can also reach out to me on my website, laprentissampson.com. And last but not least, you can reach me on Facebook. I'm on my Facebook page where I have videos there that are too hot, too hot for YouTube. So that's where I keep them, all right? I look forward to working with you. Let me know if you like this video by hitting that like button, subscribe, and put in the comments which, video, which waters you want me to test next, all right? If you change your water, just think about this. If you change your water, you could change your world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.